There's a car in here. There is, dude, look, there's a, there's a, there's a car in here. This is not creepy in the slightest, dude. And on a cloudy and cool day at Texas World, temperature is 62 degrees. There is a 30% chance of rain, and we've had a lot of rain in this area in the last couple of days, but it looks like we're okay today. Welcome to ESPN's first visit to Texas World Speedway. Daryl Waltrip is the leader, and Jeff Purvis is battling Dara Dale Earnhardt for second place. Out of turn four. There's the start. Steve oppresses, but coming to the lead is A.J. Foyt. Mears coming up from the inside and around his teammate. The field. Tom Sneva is in fourth. First four cars about two seconds apart, completing the first of 100 laps. Dunham back running in fifth. Talk about speed. It's a good an hour plus as they complete lap one with number one and A.J. Boyd is in The first race involved Can-Am cars back in November of 1969. It was won by Bruce McLaren. In qualifying, Mario Andretti set a close course speed record of 214.158 miles an hour. In January of 1991, Texas World was purchased by the Ishin Speed Sport Corporation. Millions of dollars were spent refurbishing the facilities and repaving both the oval and the road course. Now with everything going on in the world and our generation not being as into cars, Unfortunately, this this might be the uh, the future of more racetracks. But, ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, to Texas World Speedway, or or what what used to be Texas World Speedway. Just imagine a big announcer's box, the press box up there, the track, and some some more track, and a little less construction. Up until about I think it was 2014, the 2010s, uh, you could take your car on this track and actually run it around. Races stopped I think in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, and now it's going to be turned into a subdivision, uh, so we're losing, losing a racetrack. But it's still here. This is one of the last times we'll get to see this track, uh, so we're going to make the most of it. I've never really been to like a NASCAR circuit, a speedway, uh, and I've never stood on one for sure. We have the whole checkered flag thing right here where the camera was. So look at who won the race. This is, this is awesome. Unfortunately, we did not bring the Mustang. We were rocking the trucks because you have to do some minor off-road and get here. We might have been able to make it work. Yeah, maybe, but we're gonna roll with the trucks. So back over there are the paddocks, which some of them are still standing. So we're gonna go explore, see if there's anything. Hey, maybe there's a NASCAR left there, dude. <laughs> Who knows? I'm also gonna find some info on the track so y'all can kind of get a backstory on Texas World Speedway. We are at the paddocks, I believe. I believe. There's a car in here. There is, dude. Look, there's a, there's a, there's a car in here. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. There's two cars in here. What? What are these doing here? That is so weird. These are like old, just like Miatas. It's not a it's not a NASCAR, but still, this is pretty awesome. Maybe, <laughs> dude, that is so weird. It is, and, there's, and it's a freaking motor. <laughs> so if I was a betting man, I'd guess these were the uh, race in the SCCA series, which I do believe they did have uh, SCCA races on the track. That one's broken, that's probably why it's here. This is really, really cool though. There's another one of these. We should see what's in that one. Yeah. Another Miata. Another Miata. Another Miata. And a whole bunch of wheels and tires. This one doesn't look quite as stripped down and good to go as the others. Still though, it's pretty sweet. There's a whole bunch more stuff in this garage. All these wheels and tires. At least these used to be garages. It looks like they've turned into like workout areas. They all, they've all got like weight lifting equipment. Uh, this, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what any of this stuff is. Hidden away, we have tech inspection sheets for people who race here. This is 2012. This is a Mazda RX-8 Ford Focus. 
a red Miata, and an M3. This is this is so so cool. Now this one we have a whole bunch of Texas World Speedway like merch seat pillars or something. Have you been in there already? No. Dude, let's let's see what's up. There's a it's a gurney. Yeah. I know. What? Dude, this is just like it's a room full of junk. <laughs> A whole bunch of these pillows, which is awesome. I don't think we're gonna take it, but uh, the gurney, gurney's pretty cool. Hopefully it, it was never used. Mm, we may never know though. No NASCARs, but it is still really, really cool. I think we're gonna go over that direction now. Looks like there's some offices right out there. We're gonna go check those out, and see what we can see. This has been so cool so far. I have absolutely no idea what this is supposed to be. It's obviously very <laughs> empty now. It's like a little house in the middle here. All the glass is very, very broken. Wow, this place has definitely seen some better days. Okay, this is cool. Texas World Speedway flyers from, I'm gonna have to look when this is, and the Ford GT. It's like they knew I was coming. Here's a little history on the track for you. So 1969, Texas World Speedway was built and it was raced up until 1981. That was when the last major race was held. Uh, from then on out, it was smaller races, SCCA stuff, NASA stuff, a whole bunch of smaller club events was held this track. This was one of eight super speedways in the entire country and it is almost the same as Michigan International Speedway. Here's some facts on the banking. So, up there at the start finish line, you're looking at 12 degrees. Out on the corners, which are over there, 22 degrees. The oval itself is two miles, and there's multiple different road course configurations around the track as well that you could go on. But obviously, they're not really here anymore, which is too bad. So, pit lane is right out here in front of us, I believe. I think I could be wrong. I'm not an expert on this. I believe that's pit lane, and you can come into here and access to the paddocks back there. And of course, press box right there, which would be overlooking all of this. And there is the start and finish line with the 12 degree uh, incline on there. We're like right there. And back before they shut it down, that was the track. Now, of course, it's all it's all being torn to pieces, which is which is really really sad. Too bad. Can't let motor racing die, guys. We, we cannot let it die. There's one more building that we're gonna check out uh, before we actually head on head onto the track for a little bit. I think it's a restroom. But I'm not sure. It is in fact not bathrooms. We are at the Enfield Care Center. That looks like it's gonna be interesting. See anything? Nothing important. Oh, there's a yellow jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Some chairs. Chairs. Chairs on the walls. I don't know how that works. Now I think it's time we're gonna go conquer the 22 degrees of incline uh, on that turn uh, and cross the checkered flag. Probably the first time an F-150 has crossed it and probably the last time an F-150 will be crossing it. So the plan for this place, they are turning it into a big subdivision. I believe part of the road course has already been turned into a subdivision. So this is next. Uh, unfortunately, the progress has been slow, um, but soon this place is gonna be gone. Jacob is on the track. Here we go. On the track, the back straightaway. Wow, that is scary in a truck. That is, this is not made for that. That is awesome though. <laughs> On an oval track, F-150. Can't beat that. We got off-road mode on the truck on, so we have six degrees right now. We're gonna turn up the banking and see what we get. Oh, it's like going to outer space. All right, we are holding right now here at 20 degrees of banking, and we're just looking straight up to the sky right now. All right, Jacob's gonna do it. He's taking the high line. He's going full out NASCAR in his F-150. 
This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we came down here for. That is the most amazing thing ever. Driving past the Texas World Speedway and uh, the Chevy sign. Representing for the Ford gang. Okay, so how much poo just came out of you? A lot. Was that scary? My seats are brown and they're dark brown now. Was it scary? Yeah. Was it? Was it fun? <laughs> I had to hold my steering wheel. How like fast this. were you going? I don't know. I was too worried about that. I don't either, but it looked so majestic. So majestic. All right, it's my turn. All right, I let, I let up. I, I heard you let up. I, I know. I, was I let up. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> All right, it's my turn. It's All my right. turn. So what do you think NASCARs, what do you think NASCARs would run on this? I think 140? I'm thinking 150. Maybe, maybe, yeah, 150 plus. Yeah. I think we can hit, not that. No. Probably not even triple digits. But, if you want to give it a shot, hey, there's a long, that's the back straightaway. That's the back stretch out there. You're going all the way there. Oh, dude, we're getting scary out here. All right, man. <laughs> hey, if you need help, the Enfield Care Center is right over there. Oh, thank you. The Wasp will help me out. Fine. Yes, they, they will. All right, now this is cool. Up at the very top, we're gonna watch him. He's gonna see what he can do on the oval. I don't know how fast that was, but from up here, that looked very, very quick. This is very graceful, majestic. Okay, this is like really, really steep. Okay, okay, I'm getting off. That was awesome. What's the number? 90. 90? Okay. 90. 90. That, that looked very butt clenching from up there. We made it up to where the press box once was on top of the stands and the view from up here. The view of the whole entire track is just unrivaled. It would have been it would have been so cool to be sitting right here in the stands watching cars come all the way down, watching Richard Petty nonetheless come around the corner and cross the start finish line. And we weren't expecting to find this. That goes below hello dude what's under there? We, should we go look? Together. Together. Oh yeah. This is not creepy in the slightest, dude. Oh, God. oh my goodness. Watch your feet. Yeah. It's a drainage. It's a tunnel? It goes somewhere. So this is under the track. Yeah, this is under the track. But what is under there? Look at there's lights. They have to leave us something. They do. Should we just go? Hey, we'll take it one step at a time. One step at a time. Okay, let's see what it is. Is that water? I think we found water. Oh, frog, dude. Okay. Water. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh. We get a front of our heads. We should, I don't know if we can. You think we can? All right, so what's the plan? We're gonna, we're gonna come back out yep. and see if we can find where it ends. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. It's cool under here though, it's cooler. Yeah, it's All right, let's go see where this ends. Well, uh, look at that. I don't think we're going in this one. Hello. Yeah, that's it. That's where we're seeing the light from. But it keeps going though. Mm-mm, no, it stops. You don't think so? That's where it stops? Yep. Okay. Well, all right, so now we know. That's how you get from over there under the track come up right here on the uh, on the pit lane side interesting I, I don't know about you but that that looks like a quarter mile straightaway right there oh, are you doing that we're ready. We're ready. think we should do this I think we should. all right this is uh racing on pit lane it's your call dude all right on, on the third honk all third right. honk let's do it Yeah, 
He was a manual, didn't shift a second. We won. Redo! redo. Oh, okay, I'll give you a redo. Whatever. I was like, shift, shift, shift. I was spinning the whole time, dude. The whole time. So if you look to your right, you'll notice there is a police car coming down here. No way. Yes, there is. No there sure as heck no is way. a police car. Where? Coming right down there. Really? Yeah, that's why I didn't pull up to race you. That's why I got out and took pictures. Really? Yeah, there's there's a police car coming. Was he there the whole time? I don't know. I mean, he couldn't see us from down there. Okay, good. So, just from where I'm here. He's going to come talk to us. So. Sheriff or police car? Sheriff? Or I don't think. I think it's police. We'll see. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, I know. We'll see what's going on. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll leave the camera on. <laughs> yeah, Good, how are you? Good. Hey, so the reason I'm out here, uh, some guy flagged me down way over there and was describing, I guess, some, some guys were out here. I don't think it was, they described y'all, but the, possibly smoking marijuana. Oh, heck no. Oh, but I think it's further no. that way. So, but I saw y'all, yeah, so I was like, so, well, at least, uh, yeah. I'm a YouTuber, so actually there was a Facebook group I'm in. Okay. When he was younger, he grew up on this track, yeah. and that's how I found out about it, that's and how they're track. how they're tearing it down. I appreciate <laughs> it. So I wanted to come document the track before it's gone forever. Yeah, well, I have no issue with that. I appreciate this it. Out, this is outside my jurisdiction. Okay. okay. So. And it's, we're definitely not the one smoking weed. I, now, we've been exploring. I've seen cars around. Well, we've seen, but they're we've seen two. pictures and going off. So. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, they there's just no one that we know in there, but okay. I, I don't well, know. I, there's some roads right before you get to this little opening. I saw, yeah, we yeah, saw we those. Yeah, we saw those. Yeah, we haven't we haven't gone back there. So yeah, I don't know. well, I'm, I'm gonna go pick my head over there. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll keep I'm, our eye out. I, I'm outside my ears. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. Hey, if you find them, you'll scare the heck out of them though, and that that'll do something. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Well, that's one of the coolest costs I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> so we're just checking out the track. Hey, you're good. Go ahead. That is the second uh, police interaction we've had on Covert Garage. It is. That's it right. Is, it that's is. It right. is. And they haven't had a racetrack. <laughs> oh, what better place? Hey, weren't should have asked him. What? It's out. He said it was outside his jurisdiction. So Maybe he might want to race. <laughs> <laughs> he would have gotten in so much trouble if we did that. This is the most legal place to race out of anywhere in the world. So He didn't care. No, he didn't at all. I was like, some guy flat me down for racing. Yeah, no, so, I was like, <laughs> we've just been checking out the track, man. <laughs> no, but we've definitely not been smoking marijuana. We don't do any of that stuff. So uh, good luck in catching those guys. I, if you watch the video, uh, thanks for tuning in. Okay, one more. one more. This is third and final, the tiebreaker between you and me. He's going to win. Close. I don't know. That was, that was super close. That was really close. Nah, it was, I, it was, I was getting up on you. It was, it, was, it was close. It was close. I spun it in second gear back there too when I hit the rocks. So. I didn't spun it. We'll just call it even. We're, it's even. It's even. We'll call it even. Okay, not gonna lie. A little anticlimactic. He didn't really he didn't really do anything, and our friends, the police, are back. Which I have a feeling this time, it might not be so nice. I don't know what we did though. I'm confused. Yeah, this time we have two cop cars instead of just one. This is going to be interesting. It's the same, same people. So we'll see what's up. Yes, sir. Is that what that road is? I guess so. Yeah. I, I've, this is the first time I've ever been here. We just had another police officer stop by. He said he got a call saying, okay, gotcha. Yeah, we came through right there and then came down pit lane over here. 
Well, I appreciate what y'all do. Yep. Thank y'all very much. Coolest cops ever. Man, cop cars. Race. Let's go. See you guys. I'll take it easy. I thought when it came back with two of them, we were so screwed. I saw them over there. Did you? I accidentally, when I was going in reverse, like 50 miles an hour, yeah. I actually threw it in the drive. Oh. Luckily, it's my truck new. Oh my gosh. I should go into drive. Dude. Oh, that's terrible. Yikes. Well, uh, it looked cool, except yeah. it was kind of kind of slow. Just yeah. say. All right, side by side. First time ever the F-150s. Side by side on Texas World Speedway. Pretty great. It's pretty great. We're gonna go high on the track, let price go low. Okay, we gotta go a little faster. I'm going high. <laughs> One of the coolest things we've ever done, like for sure. This is pretty incredible. Up on the top of the track. Oh, it's amazing. Well, we've been gone for almost 11 hours today going to the racetrack, but we made it back. That's Fair. what I'm talking about. So the track, it was it was such an awesome experience. What do you think? What do you think? I was like, I don't want to leave. I know. It was really hard to leave. So it's important that we, we don't just let these places, you know, disappear because it's more than a racetrack. To people, this is where they've developed their love of cars. So they were first introduced to racing. So it's not just a track. So it's really important we don't just let these places disappear and go out with the test of time. I'm gonna try my hardest to at least save some piece of the track, something that was part of the track. Because the track, unfortunately, I don't think I have the budget to save it. I don't think you have the budget to save it. I don't think we know anybody who has the budget to be able to buy a racetrack, uh, but at least we can probably save a little part of it. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. I know I had a ton of fun making it. I know Jacob had a ton of fun making it. We do have a casualty. The brand new King Ranch plate that we made for old Jacob Price. It's gone. Yeah, he, he almost jumped his truck a little bit on some of the bumpier parts of the track. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't hold up. No, it didn't. So we'll get you a new one. Yeah, if you want a magnetic license plate cover, a uh, link down in the description. That is what I do at Covert Garage. Uh, they're really cool. You can advertise. Go check it out. They're great for photography, as you'll see up there. So make sure you stay tuned for the latest updates on the Mustang, which are coming soon. Maybe more track updates. Uh, but until next time, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.